This video explains how to create a copy of a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, you first need to create a data frame as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now, if we want to create a duplicate of our data frame, then we can use the code that you can see in line seven. So in this line of code, I'm simply assigning the content of our data object data to a new data object that I'm calling data copy one. So after running line seven of the code, this new data object data copy one is appearing at the top right. And we can also print this new data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that we have created another data frame, which contains exactly the same values as our input data frame. However, there's one thing you have to keep in mind when duplicating data objects, and this is the memory address. So if we want to check whether the memory address of the new data object is the same as the memory address of the previously created data object, then we can use the trace mem function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And in this case, we are simply checking if the memory address of both objects data copy one and data is the same. So after running 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom that the logical indicator true is returned. So in this case, the memory address of our two data objects data and data copy one is the same. However, if we want to create a duplicate of our data object, which does not have the same memory address, then we can apply the data frame function, as you can see in line 12 of the code. And in this case, I'm simply applying the data frame function to our data object data. And then I'm storing the output of the data frame function in another data object that I'm calling data copy two. So after running line 12 of the code, this new data object data copy two is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console as well by running line 13. And then you can see that another data frame has been created. This data frame also contains exactly the same values as our input data frame. However, if you check the memory addresses of our two data frames using the trace mem function, as you can see in line 15 of the code, you can see that the logical indicator false is returned. So in this case, the memory addresses of our two data frames data and data copy two are different. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.